Hey guys, in this video we're going to show you how to install a TST Industries Fender Eliminator on a Kawasaki Ninja ZX6R years 2003 and 2004. So to begin, we're going to take off the passenger seat. Empty the contents of the trunk. Then we're going to go ahead and remove the following fasteners. We're also going to need to remove the front seat and to do that you need to remove this fastener right here and push this lever to the side and it locks the seat, enables you to take it off. Alright so these bikes have six push fasteners holding the undertail and the tail fairing together. They're located here, here, here and the same three locations on the other side. For the purpose of this installation we've removed four of them already. These are removed by resetting the inside and pulling away from the undertail. We're going to do that to both sides. Now remember there are six of them, three on each side. Once you've removed that, you can go up to the top. The tail fairing on this bike has two friction fasteners, one here and one here. What you need to do is pry away from the subframe and unlock the the friction fasteners from the grommets that hold them into the subframe. All right. Then you spread the fairing, pull up and towards the rear. Next step, we're going to remove this uh, trunk liner. Do that. You can just pull up on the rear section of it. And we'll unlatch these hinges here. You just take it and put it to the side. Now we need to remove the fender assembly or in the case of this bike, if you look below, the fender assembly has been removed, but the original bracket that held the fender assembly on is still in place. So same disassembly mode applies. Let's go to the top. This particular bike has the two front fasteners for the fender assembly still in. The rear ones have been removed, so all that is necessary in the case of this installation is to remove these two. But if you're working on a stock setup, you would actually have to remove all four of them. Once you loosen these up, you want to support the assembly from the bottom and remove the fasteners completely. Right now, you can uh, just push the bracket through and uh, remove it from the undertail. So for the next step, we're going to remove um, the wires that protrude here, typically connecting to a license plate light and or signals, in this case, only signals. So let's go up top. The signal plug plugs are right here. Press this tab, it snaps it, same for the other side, and just snake it through. Alright, in this step, we're going to start the installation process of the TST Industries Fender Eliminator. It comes with a baggie of hardware. So you will take a screw, a washer, put the washer on the screw. Put this assembly through the slot that now needs to be aligned with the hole in the undertail. Put that through to the top and we'll go to the top of the bike. And now we will assemble a nut onto the protruding screw. Just get it finger tight and we will now move on to the second side. Same procedure.
Now as you put the other screw in, before you tighten anything down, you want to make sure that your bracket is centered, which we have it pretty centered here. So let's go to the top. Thread the second nut onto the second screw, finger tight. And then uh, just tighten it down with a 10 millimeter wrench. All right, your license plate bracket here is pretty much ready to go. You can go ahead and uh, remount your license plate right on it. If you want to install a set of signals onto this system, TST Industries sells these signals with OEM connectors and a bracket kit that will actually mount your signals right to the back of the bracket. So in this next segment, we're going to show you how to install this kit along with the kit that we just put on. All right, so the TSC Industries Pod Signal Kit comes with all the necessary hardware. Uh, to start the installation process, we're going to take a washer and a screw, put it through the license plate, mount it onto the fender eliminator temporarily, just to keep placement. This is just so this side's easier to work on and um, you don't really need to tighten this, the other side up at all. Just keep it in place. Now we will take another washer, another screw, a pod signal bracket, install it like this, put the pod signal bracket on, use the larger washer behind that assembly, and now we will thread up the nut onto that screw. For the meantime, you want to keep everything just finger tight so you can make your final adjustments before you tighten things down. Now you can remove the opposite screw that was in here just for placement. And uh, you will just do the same thing you did on this side on the opposite side. All right, so the pod signals kit from TSC Industries comes with two signals, two nuts like this. You will need to remove the nut from the threaded stud. You thread these wires right through the hole in your bracket. Put the nut onto the wires, flange first. And now you can thread up your signal onto the bracket here. Again, it's a good practice to just keep it finger tight for now. Tighten everything at the end. Once you've achieved the right alignment, all right. Now we're going to grab um, the, the signal converters that have mating plugs for this side. Makes the installation really easy. There's no splicing of any sort. The other side has the OEM plug. We'll put this through the undertail out to the top and uh, we'll move on to the other side and install the signal in the same fashion as on this side. All right, so even though you have little insulator sleeves on these connectors, they can slip off and they can short the ground. So it's always best practice to grab a little bit of electrical tape and make sure that they don't slip off. Now we're going to plug these OEM connectors into their plugs on the bike. Before you tuck any of these wires away, you want to test the functionality of your signals. Everything's looking good. Now you're pretty much ready to go. The one issue we didn't address in this install is a license plate light. TST Industries does sell a license plate light kit. It does come with a full instruction manual, step-by-step -step with color photos. It's pretty easy to put on. Um, check it out on the TST Industries website. All right, so to install your flasher relay, you will need to pull out the OEM flasher relay, which is right here, back of the battery. Pull the rubber keeper off this plastic tab, remove the rubber keeper off the old relay. To disconnect your relay, you will press this tab down and pull the plug out of it, just like that. 
put it to the side, grab the TSD Industries flasher relay, plug it right back in. Now you'll put the rubber keeper back on the TSD Industries relay. And replace this assembly right back onto the tab. Now that you've completed the assembly of all the TSD Industries parts, you can reassemble the bike in the reverse order of disassembly and you're ready to ride.